Hello guys, uh, it's yet another video. So for this tutorial, I want to look at some of the new features that have been added in the uh, new RAD system. So currently I'm using 7.4.5.5 uh, and there are, nice, there are some nice features that have been added. If you can see, we have these uh, cards. So this is what I'm going to try and replicate because uh, before in the previous video I've made, I've made these uh, where I personally make them from scratch. But for this situation, I want to use uh, PHP RAD to actually bring this to life. So as you can see now, we have a few things here. Really nice looking stuff. And yeah. So another thing I want to introduce is I want to introduce a new course. So if you can go over to rasystems.odo.com. So this is just a temporary website. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be uh, using RAS system to create a course, uh, course website where we can be uh, allowing you guys to also share your tutorials there for some cash or whatever so for now i'm using this one so that maybe you can just get started with our systems immediately so for now it's 23 dollars but this is just a, the first commerce discount as we grow up we plan on making more and more videos so it might uh, change a little bit so for now you can see we have uh, this uh these are some of the apps that i've made with rust systems uh and uh yeah yeah we have the plant if you need some monthly support so that there we go and so far we have this course here which uh we're just waiting for you to load And there we go. So that's what we have. Just going to be sad. You can just go over. I'll share this link in the description. Just go over and look at what is there. Yeah, so now let's go ahead and look at uh, our cards. So there are two things that have been added. We have the, uh, the skeleton. So if I go to, to register bank here, you notice we have a skeleton. Uh, so that's what we will get for all. We want to look at uh, this skeleton that is appearing before the page loads. So yeah. I want the uh, page, so if I click here, and I'm going to call this tutorial, it's going to be a list page, and uh, one thing you notice that is no, it's never added by default, so you need to go ahead and add this page by default. I'm just going to come here and call it tuts, and I want it to navigate to this page we just created, and there's another, there's a new feature which is here where you can always select the color the icon you want and select the color you you need for that icon so i'm just going to use red let's just choose red all right so we have that page now there are a few things you realize we have here so you have the page title here and we have these where clauses all that stuff and we have the action buttons all right and we have the display style of the action buttons and now here we have the page skeleton so if you click on the page skeleton so now the page skeleton is what i showed you what appears before the page loads so we have a few page skeletons here we have the uh, grid youtube facebook twitter twitch so we want the twitch skeleton because for the purposes of this video i'm not going to cover uh, why i'm deleting this but uh, i'm just deleting this because i only need the bigger square here this this square here and i can always change my size to be the size of what i want my card to be so maybe i want my card to be four i want it to be column b4 all right now if we go down if we go to this place tell here now this is where we change our templates so here we have several templates we have grid just scroll down we have this 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 so I'm going to be utilizing this for this tutorial. So I'm going to take that. Now the name field, if you see John Janet Morales, so we want whatever that is be will be here to be the label of our link. The subtitle we can have our description here. Since we don't have an image, we're just going to leave that image blank there. And what we need here is to change this. We need maybe we need to be column D6 and column D4 here and call six for small devices and we don't want the card action to be separated so that's that's just it 
and let's publish our project. So I'm just going to pause and come back when it's done. All right. So uh, moving on. All right, so if we open our page now, you realize that now we have a skeleton appearing here. So this is basically the skeleton that we had before. So yeah, the next thing you need to do is come over here and uh, add some few stuff to this uh, here. And let me move this button and put it to the end there. That's uh, it's basically how we want it. So uh, before this page loads and we see what our page looks like, let's first go ahead and do exactly that. So we're just going to come to our page design here and come to header. Now, every time you import a header, it comes with a, with a few components on your right here. So if I delete this and pick another header from here and drop it here, you realize that now we have a few components. So we can come here and say, my links. All right. Now the subtitle can be just like the, the description. So we can say, Alright, so there we go. Now, the title class can be whatever you want. So I'm going to come here and say page. I want this text to be H4. Alright, and then here I want this text to be uh, primary. So I can always come here and say text primary. And the title icon, we're going to pick a random icon here. Let's pick this icon here. You can change the color of the icon, put it on the right side or whatever, so that would be entirely up to you. I'm just going to publish my project again and we'll see what we get. All right. Okay, so now, so far, we have this. So this is what we have. But remember, we want the card to look exactly like the one we had on top there. We're just going to add it just a little bit and have it looking the way we want. I'm just going to come back, go to my page design here. Now to go to my link page, but we added up a code right on the top of this uh, page uh, design. So you just want to scroll all over, all the way to the top here, and uh, pick this card. So just come here, and we're using. So from now, really edit it that much. Really open that. Okay, so from here we can already edit it that so what we want to do is we want to go all the way up to the right, top right and click on edit template. Now from edit template now that's why we want to work with our stuff button. Okay, so what you realize is just realize that we have this card and we have the top section here. So we want to have something inside this uh context section here. And I'm going to come here and say div class and we want this to be a row. We want we want this row to be justified at the center so we want the button to be at the center of that card so just going to say justify center all right now what i also want to do is give it a padding of the top so i'm going to say q padding top we want it to be large all right now let's close this div class remember always close the div class or you're going to get an error now what you want to do here is have something here we have we need to have a button we want a color of black do we want an icon we don't want an icon but we want a label right so the label is going to be equal to the uh this label here so just copy this and put it here 
Now, one thing you need to realize is a button. So this is not really going to display the label. So to make it display the label, we always put a column there to do a bind, a full column. Then we want to make this button rounded. We want to give it a size of medium. So we want it to be that way. Then close this cube uh, button. So you're going to say QBTN or you can just self-close it. All right, so now we are ready to see how our card looks like. So publish a project and I'll come back to it while we are. All right, so one thing you realize is that now we have our page looking something like this. So this is what we have uh, just done in that video. So these are new features that have been, has been added. It's, it's pretty cool if you ask me. So yeah, you can always make your page look nice based on how you want. Also, another thing you notice is that we have this when we added that uh the icon the color to the icon we can now have our icon looking the color we wanted so that is it so let's wait for this page load and see what we get so yeah there we go so now we have this uh appearing like this so you can also alter this header here now when you click on it it goes to the view page so we don't want that for now so we want to make the header to be bigger so we go back to our custom page and this is the label we want but we don't want the ellipses just get rid of it the ellipses just basically means if this is too long for this card put some dots and omit the rest of the sentence so that's what the ellipses means so we want to have this to be text h5 and we can have it to remain as, as black it doesn't really matter then we are going to say text uppercase so that we can have that text appearing in capital letters no no matter how the person wrote it if i write it in capital letters small letter or mixed everything is going to appear as a capital letter because we have specified it uh, there so that's what we want to see so if we come back here then we expect to see some of that stuff appearing right about here so i'm just going to pause this so yeah there we go so now we have this looking something like that so now this is a view that so notice the finish. i should not take that because we had some other things we are doing in here and there but basically that's those are the new features i think they are really nice and you can actually make some pretty good apps with it so uh, uh hopefully you don't need to keep editing too much of your code to uh, come come up with something nice so that's generally it so that will be it for this video guys see you in the next one